Hi, I'm Matt Davey. In this video, I'd like to show you how we do opening the sides of the brood nest with empty drawn out frames. But uh, with this, we'll uh, use our um, OSB and frames from last year, which were drawn out. And so I'll cut out the comb from those and then we'll go and um, swap out this uh, hive here, the, the brown hive and we'll put in some new boxes, fresh equipment, and uh, then add another brood box on top of that. So we'll show you what to do there. But first we'll cut out the uh, comb from the, the old OSBN frame from last year. So this frame here, as you can see, is a partial foundation frame, and it's in the shape of a wedge. And uh, so we'll cut out these bottom corners and then that will allow the bees to draw out the comb in those corners and we can um, encourage the bees to expand the brood nest, um, move honey up and out of the brood nest and then they can uh, keep the, the uh, nurse bees and the, and the house bees busy which definitely helps stop swarming. So let's cut this out now. I may also scrape off the existing comb as well. And the other side. Well, that's our first one. We also have the second one. And we'll do the same to that. find the bits that have the uh, cocoons is a bit harder to scrape off. But the bees will clean all that up. So this is our frame uh, scraped down. So now we'll go to the hive and uh, open it up and swap in the new box and add the frames to that. What I've done is uh, moved the hive over to this side, put in the new box that I'm going to be moving them into, and this is our, going to be our second brood box. And you can see I've got two OSBN frames here in the middle. So first, so we'll, uh, we'll clean off the top of the frames. This is the first time we've come into the hive since winter and we're coming up to swarm season, about three or four weeks away from swarm season. Uh, probably more like three, so we'll clean this off. Just get the bees out of the way, and we'll just scrape off the wax. Do a good clean up. You may want to have a bucket or something to put your scrap wax into if you forgot that. So I'll just put it over here. Now 
Now we're looking pretty good. We've got bees on every frame. So it's looking quite full, which is exactly what we want when we're going to uh, put on another box. All right, that looks pretty good. Okay. All right, so find my hive tool and we'll crack it open. Now you might find it easier to go to the second frame in from the edge. In the first couple of frames, I find it's easier to use a frame grabber. So that's the frame grabber there. Now, what we're doing is moving the outside frames into the new box and uh, then moving the rest of the frames into the, the hive and we'll be inserting the empty comb in between the brood and the honey layer. Just clean that out. All right, here we go. So this is our second frame in and we have a heap of drone brood there. Okay, and a bit of worker brood. So we'll put this straight into the new box. And I'll just show you this outside frame. It's all honey. So you can see that that's a fair bit of honey on that frame there. So that will be moving up to the new box, but I'll leave this in for the moment. So we're just going to move across all these brood frames here. So with OSBN, we start doing this once the drones have been raised. And as I just showed you with this frame here, that's, uh, that's about right timing now. So there you can see there's more drones and some worker comb there. I should have checked this, uh, these frames when I got them ready for winter as to how much drone comb there was. There you've got some more worker comb and worker brood. Now we actually want to move this, leave a space here for the OSBN frame. All right, let's put that in now. So that's that frame we've just cleaned up. Put that straight in there. Continue to move over these frames. The 
and good brood pattern there. We just move all our frames across. It's one of my homemade frames here. And more drain and worker brood. So we have a lot of brood in this hive already. More worker brood there. So we're down to the last frame, and this one is all honey. So this will be going up to the box on top. Let's put that box on. Now I have this, um, this other OSB in frame here. I'm going to put it over more towards the edge, just for timing. So once the uh, the nurse bees or the house bees have um, graduated into foraging, the next set in the next fortnight will. Uh, We'll start working on building that, that comb. So as more mature, then they, it uh, encourages those ones to build wax. So on this edge here, we're just going to add a, an empty comb. So open up the sides on the rest of the, uh, the brood box. All right. This one. So I'll put that in there. It's a bit tight. So now we have an ISBN frame here and an empty comb over here. So that'll give them space for the, the queen to expand the brood nest right out to the edges of the box. So now we'll put this box on top, I'll get the bees out of the way. And line it up. And then we'll bring our honey frames up top. So because it's still a few weeks until time for swarming, there was no sign of queen cells. So it's a good time to do it now before the bees even think about swarming. So that's pretty much it. Just line up the frames. Bees 
bees are starting to get a bit agitated. And put on my special hive mat, which I find works well. Now with these bees that are remaining here, we'll just shake them out in the front of the hive just because there's a lot of rubbish on the bottom of the, the baseboard there. Alright, now I can smell the smell of a swarm, that pheromone that they produce to tell all the other bees where they want to um, go. So I'll put the lid back on and we can close up the hive. Well, that's it. That's opening the sides of the brood nest with empty comb.